All right, guys, since this is a Nintendo Switch tutorial, I got to read a disclaimer. Um, I do not encourage any kind of piracy. Anything I show you in the video is for educational purposes only. Now, with that out of the way on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Yuzu Emulator. Uh, now, this is going to be for Windows 10 or Windows 11. I'm going to be leaving you all the links you're going to need in the pinned comment of this video. One's going to be for my page. So just scroll down until you find the wallpaper of the video. I'm going to be leaving you three links. So Yuzu download page, Switch firmwares, and Visual C++. Um, you must obtain the prod keys and title keys on your own. I cannot provide them for you. Uh, so the order that we're going to go in. Uh, first, you're going to install the prod keys. You're going to install the firmware. You're going to create a Switch Games folder. Then we're going to be setting up the controller. And then obviously make sure that you have Visual C++ installed on your PC. Or else this is not going to work. Uh, so please follow along carefully and you shouldn't have any issues. Uh, so for the first link, Yuzu emulator itself. Uh, so go over to the download for Windows section. You're going to download the folder. This is going to be a zip folder. You're going to need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. Now if you scroll down on the page, um, it's going to give you the recommended um, hardware that you're going to need. So it is recommended to use Windows 10 or 11, uh, Intel Core i7 or equivalent, 16 gigabytes of RAM or higher, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 10 series or later. Uh, now for the second link, this is where you're going to be able to acquire the Switches firmware. So on today's example, I'm going to be using the latest one. So firmware 20.1.1. Uh, you're going to go over to the download link. You're going to download the folder. You're going to need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. And now for the Visual C++, uh, just scroll down on the page, uh, download the folder, uh, just run the exe file. You're going to also need to create a Switch uh, game folder um, anywhere on your uh, desktop of your PC. So the four folders I have is the Yuzu emulator, Switch firmware, the prod keys, and a Switch games folder. Uh, so now we're going to run the emulator. You're going to scroll down until you find the yuzu.exe file. You're going to double click it. Uh, so now you're in the emulator. Um, the first thing it's going to ask you is for a games uh, folder directory. Uh, so just make sure that you add it. Um, next thing you're going to need to do, um, go over to tools. We are going to need to install the prod keys. So go down to install decryption keys. You're going to find your folder. So for me, it's going to be on the desktop. So switch prod keys for 20.1.1. Uh, make sure that the prod keys match the firmware that you're going to be currently using. So now go to open. Select prod keys, open. So the encryption keys were accessibly installed. Press OK. Now we're going to be installing the firmware. So go back up to tools, uh, down to install firmware. Mine's going to be on the desktop. So find your folder for the firmware. So switch firmware 20.1.1. Select the folder. This shouldn't take too long. Just give it a second. There you go. Now you have the prod keys and the firmware installed. Uh, as you can see, I have one game. 
in my uh, games folder. Uh, now we're going to go up to emulation, go to configure. Uh, so general, you can leave everything as is. Hotkeys, uh, you're going to be able to change any of the hotkeys for your uh, keyboard. Everything else you can leave. Uh, system. Uh, everything here you can leave. Go down to CPU. Make sure it's on auto. Graphics. Uh, make sure the Vulkan is selected. And then your device is going to be your uh, graphics card. Um, everything is fine. Uh, you can change the resolution if you want. I'm just going to leave it as it is. So 1x 720p slash 1080p. Um, audio you can leave as is. Uh, now we're going to set up the controller. Uh, so for the controllers, you can use PS4, PS5, Xbox One, the Switch Pro Controller, uh, etc. So for today's example, I'm going to be using the Xbox One controller. So for using the Xbox One controller, it's going to be already configured. So the controller you're going to select is going to be Pro Controller. And then make sure you, the uh, right controller selected. So for me, Xbox One controller, zero. Um, you can remap the buttons if you want. But like I said, everything should be already mapped out properly. Uh, make sure you save the settings. Now go to OK. Now your remote is all set up. Now to load a game. Uh, just double click on the game. Just give it a second and then the game should start. So there you go guys, that's how you set up the Yuzu Nintendo Switch emulator on a Windows PC, Windows 10 or Windows 11. I'm going to be leaving you guys all the links you're going to need and the pinned comment of this video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, comment and subscribe and on to the next one.